2022 was a hell of a year for the footballing universe. Really crazy things happen in football all over the world and we want to now look at the most shocking of the lot. Here are the 10 most shocking football moments of 2022. Are you ready? Let's go! Number 1. Saudi Arabia stunned Argentina In Group C's opening game of the 2022 World Cup, favourites Argentina were given the shock of their lives when their 36-game unbeaten run was snapped by Saudi Arabia. Absolutely nobody expected it to happen. As a matter of fact, there were many who even expected Argentina not only to beat Saudi Arabia, but probably embarrass them while at it. And it seemed like that was what was going to happen when Messi scored in the 10th minute. But what followed that goal was a couple of offside goals in the first half to leave the scoreline 1-0 at half-time. Then, as we would later find out, the Saudi manager Herve Reynard gave an insane speech to his boys at half-time and they came out firing on all cylinders in the second half. They equalised in the 48th minute and then turned it round with the scream in the 53rd minute. The Asians held their lead until full-time to pull off one of the biggest shocks in World Cup history. Absolutely nobody saw that coming, not even the Saudis themselves. Number 2. Conte vs Tuchel Surely we didn't expect two former Chelsea managers to be going head-to-head -head on the touchline in a Premier League game, but that happened this year. When Chelsea and Spurs met at the beginning of the season, it was one hell of a fixture. Well, that's usually the nature of this London derby, but this time around the managers decided that they won't be left out of the fun. You know how very animated both these coaches can be, so seeing them get really emotional and dramatic on the touchline isn't a surprise. After Chelsea went a goal up in the 19th minute, we saw Tuchel get in the ear of the fourth official, but there wasn't much to it. Fast forward to when Spurs got the first equaliser in the 68th minute. Conte and Tuchel then got all up in each other's grills, but that was quickly broken up. You could tell from then that something was brewing though, and it all boiled over at full time. As usual, coaches are expected to shake each other's hands after a game, but that little gesture got blown out of proportion. Tuchel grabbed Conte's hand and seemed to hold onto it for longer than usual and even dragged him back for not looking at him during the handshake. That quickly erupted into a big brouhaha on the pitch and everyone had to pitch in to separate what could have been a huge fight. Number 3. Unbelievable Champions League run by Madrid Real Madrid won the 2021-22 UEFA Champions League, but they decided they were not going to do it the easy way, not at all. First of all, they lost a group stage game to Sheriff Tiraspol, a Moldovan club who were in the Champions League for the first time in their history that season. But they would end up topping the group and then drawing PSG in the round of 16. By half-time of the second leg against PSG, they were 2-0 down, but a Benzema second half hat-trick was enough to complete the turnaround against a team that had Messi, Neymar and Mbappe. Madrid then progressed to the quarter-final to face Chelsea. The Chelsea story was a little different because Madrid won the first leg 3-1 in London, but in the second leg in Madrid, Chelsea seemed to be cooking up a comeback. You know, to give Madrid a taste of their own medicine. On 75 minutes, Chelsea were 3-0 up and at that point would be going through to the semis, but Madrid said, hold my beer and went ahead to do a comeback on Chelsea's comeback. They got one back before full time to take the game into extra time where a 96th minute goal from Benzema was enough to do the trick on aggregate. Up next, Man City in the semis and it was the same story all over again. City won 4-3 in Manchester and Madrid turned it around to win 3-1 in extra time in Madrid. This was probably the most dramatic game in the whole run. Anyway, Madrid decided to keep it simple in the final against Liverpool, winning by one goal to nil to clinch their record-extending 14th European Cup or Champions League trophy. Number 4. Emi Martinez at the World Cup Martinez saving penalties is no longer surprising to see. Even him doing his little dances before the penalty shootout is over is also something we should all be used to by now. What however was shocking was how he chose to celebrate after Argentina won the World Cup and he won the Golden Glove. Well, we all saw what he did with the Golden Glove, didn't we? And to do that in front of world leaders too, in a country as conservative as Qatar? What a guy, man! Oh, and not to forget what he did with Mbappe's picture during Argentina's celebration rally. Number 5. Zlatan Scudetto Celebration Zlatan Ibrahimovic is one hell of a character and has been his whole career. When he rejoined AC Milan in January 2020, he told the fans to give him one full season at the club and he would win them the Scudetto, which they hadn't won in a decade. 
He might have needed two full seasons to do it, but he eventually came through, celebrating in the most Zlatan style possible. First of all, he gave an energizing speech in the dressing room, flipping the table and causing an uproar at the end of it. And then when it was time to go and receive his medal, he emerged from the tunnel to the receptive crowd with a huge bottle of champagne in his hand and a cigar in his mouth. Quite shocking, but still very Zlatan. Number 6. Early Whistle at the AFCON We opened for the year with the Africa Cup of Nations and boy did it give us some really mind-blowing moments. The most shocking of the lot had to be when Zambian ref Gianni Sikatswe was in one hell of a hurry to end the game between Tunisia and Mali. It might be hard to believe, but the ref really had a look at his watch and blew for full time in the 85th minute. Everyone was confused, fans, players and coaching staff alike, but Gianni quickly realised his error and signalled for the game to continue, only for him to go ahead and blow for full time again before the clock hit 90. There were two penalties awarded, VAR checks, one red card, and the ref didn't think to give additional time. Absolutely wild. Of course, the players and technical teams protested, but it all fell on deaf ears at the time as the ref just walked down the tunnel. But there was to be more drama to follow. 20 minutes after the ref had blown for full time, the players were asked to come out again to complete the game. Of course, they refused. Those were some really incredible scenes. Number 7. Michaela Moore's perfect hat-trick of own goals Yes, you've seen perfect hat-tricks, but had you ever seen a perfect hat-trick of own goals before this year? In the She Believes Cup in February, New Zealand defender Michaela Moore scored three goals for the USA, one with her right foot, one with her head, and one with her left foot. Guess we can very confidently say that Moore is the player that had the worst game this entire year. Number 8. The CR7 Interview Cristiano Ronaldo dropped what was perhaps the interview of the entire 21st century just a few days before the World Cup kicked off. He went on Piers Morgan's show, still a United player, and had a great deal to say about the club's manager, former manager, players, former players, and even the board. The five-time Ballon d'Or winner laid it bare with no holds barred, and it seemed like he eventually got what he wanted when United announced that they had parted ways with Ronaldo on mutual consent. The interview was shocking, but even before then, we had shocking moments which involved Ronaldo being left on the bench, which led him to abandoning the team and walking down the tunnel before full time. Number 9. Pogba Scandal So much has happened this year that you might have forgotten that Pogba was involved in a full-blown drama with his brother, which involved the police, masked men and a witch doctor. Matthias Pogba had a lot to say about his brother using witchcraft to try and win games and even neutralise his teammate. If you somehow missed all this drama, it's not too late to catch up on it here. Number 10. Greatest World Cup Final Ever The World Cup being played in November-December turned out not to be such a bad idea after all because we got to close the year with one of the best finals in the history of the World Cup. Argentina and France could have met in the round of 16, but it was perfect that they saved that showdown for the final. Actually, until the 80th minute, it looked like it was going to be super boring and a very unadventurous final, but a quick-fire double from Mbappe brought the final to life and took it to extra time. And well, you know how it went down. Brace from Messi, hat-trick from Mbappe, late-late comebacks, Emi Martinez last-minute save and penalty shootout heroics. It was just an incredible final and the perfect ending to an incredible World Cup. Maybe the best ever? These are 10 of the most shocking moments in world football this year, but there were more. Haaland's record-breaking start to life in the Premier League, Messi becoming a completely different person in that game against the Netherlands, Russia being banned from football and Abramovich being forced to sell Chelsea. The LV Messi and Ronaldo ad, Arsenal being five points at the top of the Premier League by Christmas, City's incredible comeback on the final day of the Premier League season, Messi versus the egg on Instagram. Just keep the list going in the comments. And while you're there, tell us which of the moments was the singular most shocking one for you of the year. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also turn on the bell notifications so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.